Okay, so you maybe seen our video about our uh, little 454s that started life as a 5.3, and in that video I mentioned that we concrete the block. Um, concrete is something that I think most of you have probably heard of. It's nothing new. It's been going on for decades and decades. It's not anything that I came up with or invented. Um, I've filled blocks with lots of other products um, using Rosso's uh, block filler, hard block brand stuff. I've um, been doing it with stock blocks for years and years for drag race engines. Um, when I originally had the idea to do this, um, I did have concerns about cooling and, and all that. And so I wanted to maximize, maximize and leave as much cooling capacity in the block as possible while, you know, straddling that fence of, of trying to create the most cylinder stability. And, uh, and I was concerned about the thermal conductivity and expansion contraction rates of other block fillers. And is, is there something better? Um, is there something that I should do that, that would make this be a, a more um, durable block to, to, for these engines and, and get more longevity out of them with less trouble? So what I came up with is a, a product that's called uh, Masterflow 885. Um, and it says right on the label here, it's a metallic ag aggregate grout with uh, extended work time. Um, where I came up with this, and I'm just going to quote uh, Darren Morgan. You guys have probably heard of him. He's an extremely uh, reputable dude. Been down in Arlington working at Rare Morrison for, for a long time and has a lot of experience and a highly respected man in the industry. The best block filler on the planet is called Embeco 885. We've used it for over 20 years and it has a coefficient of expansion so close to cast iron that it will never pull away from the cylinder walls or give you distortion problems. It dissipates heat a lot better than anything else I've ever used. It's a metallic grout that was designed in the 60s for the Saturn V launch pad to hold steel girders. The girders would get so hot that it would blow out regular concrete, so they formulated this stuff. And he went on to say that he's done it for several of his own friends and customers for street cars that's driven thousands of miles in Texas heat, never had any problems. But anyways, our testing so far has shown that this stuff is incredibly durable. Um, no downside to it. So what we have here are four blocks in process. So we take these uh, core five, three block, we uh, machine them completely out and get them ready to accept the sleeves. Um, we set the sleeves in place and then we uh, have come up with these little fixture boards so that we can, it, it'll easily hold the blocks at 45 and negative 45 to keep these decks flat and parallel for the concrete to cure. We come up just to the bottom of the uh, water pump hole so that you're getting we're not restricting water flow at all. We'll pour one, one side uh, one day, let it sit overnight. We'll flip the block over to get the other deck level, um, pour the other side. And then we take these block, take the fixture boards off of them, and we let these blocks cure to let that uh, grout completely 100% cure for about two weeks, minimum of two weeks before we do any more machine work. And then we finish the decks, bore and torque plate home um, after that time. Stay tuned for more information and test results. Thanks.